Okay, I finally got some time to work on these radios. Both of these radios have an electrolytic that it takes a 33 and a 75. So I've got a 68 and a 33. Should hopefully be close enough to get these guys to work. And this one was actually my stepfather's radio from when he was a kid. But... I custom modified this radio in 1983, and I showed it in another video, along with a board swap. I've also scored this uh, 8-track recording stereo, which I think the output on it is blown on one side. But I'm hoping that I can still use the 8-track recorder to record 8-tracks. Now, I have a professional 8-track recorder, but I currently can't find it. Where I thought it was, it wasn't, so I'll have to look around better next year. <laughs> so this thing does nothing but hum, and I do get some modulation out of the tuner. So it's picking up WHAM. So I'm going to set this down for the time being. I don't know if this is going to come out quite as good as Retro Chad did with his live videos. But I'm going to see what I can do with this thing. Now, most guys would want to do a full restoration and restore. There really isn't really a point in doing that at this point because nobody's actually going to ever use this radio. It's just kept because it's a sentimental piece. Both because I worked on it when I was a kid and it was my stepfather's when he was a kid. So I don't know if you might have seen the other video, but it has... The circuit board installed on the back, and the original chassis is gutted. But this electrolytic can has gone bad. So, what I've got to do is remove this and replace it with these. And then the radio should actually work. And like I said, this looks really stupid what's done to this, but I did it 25 years ago. So I can get this out of my way. Okay, it is unplugged. And I gotta get this can off of here and run jumper wires before I can do anything. And this is a 75 and a 30, and I've got a 68. That's what Mauser sent me when I ordered them. It's probably close enough for something that's only going to get played once in a great while. Now, these have nice leads on them, so I'm not going to have to actually do any jumper wires. This terminal must be the common. It's marked with a C. So I want to remember that's the outside screw. And you look on the can. C is the 30 MFD. B is the 75. A is the common. Odd that they would call us, you know, A is the common. But that's what it is. So the common, which would be the negative, goes... there. That's where it was, right? Let's see. Make sure I've gone the right way here. Yes. Alright, because I blew the last one up. Okay, it was in with the white wire. 
That's what confused me. So, A is common. It's negative. So I'm going to take both caps and take the negative lines. And stick them in the A hole. No pun intended. Which is also this hole. After being used to seeing computer boards and everything, you uh, see these old handmade circuit boards, even the printed circuit boards, and they really look strange. Alright, they're through. They're about to get soldered in place. No, guess not. He didn't stay. Let's try that again. Alright, there's two holes side by side on the same tracer, so I'm gonna put one in each hole make any difference. I also got a broken trace on this board I see that I'm going to have to fix. Make sure this thing's going to actually work. Now, if this was really valuable and mint, it would be worth doing a, a lot more with, but it's a modded set, so it's really not worth anything as a collector's item to anybody, except for me, because I modded the set 25 years ago. <laughs> Alright, so, A is a common, C is the 30, so I want to put the 30 on the corner. 30 is brown one. So the 30 goes to the corner. It's interesting the 30 is bigger than the 65. Now this is live. I haven't tested this or anything. And this one's the 68, which is taking the place of the 75, which is B. I'm just checking on the can to be sure. And voila. Is that where I want to go? An extra hole that used to be for the board when it came out of the other radio and it might have been how I fried the other one so yeah it looks like this board's configured to take cans that are a different diameter there's three holes in a triangular pattern in two different size circles so now Live on camera, I'm going to plug this in, and either we're going to smoke the thing, or it's going to play. Make sure nothing else is touching anything here. Here goes. I'll stand back. Turn the set on. Tubes are beginning to glow. service contract about to expire or no automobile breakdown coverage at all due to a decline in these
we got some open circuit hum. Now the volume control is concentric with the tuning and it needs lubrication. So it's difficult to turn it all the way. It's going to turn it up as I tune. Well, this thing probably really needs an alignment and stuff. But there it is. I've recapped this radio in 11 minutes and 18 seconds. Now, I guess I'm allowed to go up to 15 minutes now. So I'm going to try to upload this video as a 12-minute video and see what happens. So there it is. It's a GE chassis radio which has been modded to operate on a printed circuit board originally modded in 1983 and now recapped 25 years later General Electric clock radio